Take a look at these metro trains coming one after another today. Just a few people getting on, just a few people getting off, maybe nobody getting off at all. Normally crowded stations now empty, and we're hearing more and more about how people's commuting habits are going to be different as a result of this pandemic. The results of a new survey from research group Suzy showing us that 89% of people say they will change transportation habits. 44% of people who responded say that they're now less comfortable with public transportation. And here's a potentially very damaging finding for our region. 67% of people say they're likely to buy or lease a car in the next three months. That's a frightening thought as far as what was debilitating traffic in our area. And traffic can certainly get worse than it is right now. Robert Puentes is the head of the Eno Center for Transportation, which aims to improve transportation policy and leadership. And he says simply, if everybody goes and gets a car, we can't all fit. We also have a geometry kind of problem where everybody is not going to be able to drive. We just don't have the infrastructure to support it. We don't have the space on the roadway network. And frankly, it doesn't sound like a fantastic option for people to have everybody on the road at the same time. So. Back to Metro, they know they have an uphill battle to get riders to come back. Lynn Bowersox is the head of customer service and communications. She talks about what riders are telling her about feeling safe and spread apart on the system. They said, you know, the markers on the floors in the grocery stores, that's not going to work on our Metro. We need signage that says, here's what six feet looks like. One thing that certainly seems to make sense for a while, telework. Experts will tell you that even if you telework once every two weeks, that's a 10% reduction in traffic. Adam Tuss, News 4.